Nearly all visual aspects of the extra grid can be customized. In this video, you'll learn how to custom draw the footer cells that contain summary values for specific columns. Starting from a new WinForms application, I drop an extra grid control onto the form and dock it to its parent. I'll bind the grid to a data source by invoking its smart tag and clicking the Add Project Data Source link. I'll use an existing connection string for the Cars DB database. I click Next and select the Cars table that will supply data to the grid. Finally, I click Finish to complete the wizard. I run the Grids Designer and switch to the Columns page. I highlight and remove the unnecessary columns. For the purposes of this example, I'll select the HP column, expand its Summary Item property, and set the Summary Type to Sum. I'll do the same for the Cylinder column. And I'm done with the Grids customization, so I'll close the Designer. To display the footer, I select the Grid View and set its Options View dot Show Footer property to True. Now I'm going to add some code to custom draw the footer cells we just enabled. This can be done using the custom draw footer cell event of the grid view. I create a new handler for the event and add the following code to it. Notice that I need to add a reference to the system.drawing.drawing2d namespace. And I'm done. I run the application to see the results. You'll see that the footer cells are now drawn with a raised border as well as a gradient background. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.